So example 27, the closed chamber shown has a rectangular gate on the bottom portion. It is hinged on the bottom portion and rests on a smooth wall at the top. The gate is 1.2 meters wide. Determine the reaction on the wall. So here is the given figure. Again, the problem is quite complicated. So I categorize this as a moderate problem. Or you may consider this as challenging now. So let's locate the centroid and center of pressure first. So centroid is half of 1.5.75 meter from the bottom. And the center of pressure, therefore, distance is from the centroid is E sub V. Therefore, F acts at the center of pressure. This is the reaction at the wall, FW. So if we sum up moments about the hinge, equal zero, the hinge reactions are not presented because they are not involved in the moment summations. So counterclockwise moment, FW times 1.5, equals F times quantity 0.75 minus E sub V. So distance of centroid to hinge is half of 1.5.75 and distance of centroid to center pressure is E sub V. So that's why moment arm of F is 0.75 minus E sub V. Now what is F? F is pressure at centroid times area because uh, as I said the liquid surface, we have layers of liquid surface and we have pressure also here. It's not exposed to zero pressure or the atmosphere, so we use the alternate formula for F. Where pressure at centroid beginning at the airspace here, 20 plus 0.8 times 9.81 times 1.8 plus 9.81 times quantity 1 meter plus 0.75 to reach the centroid. 0.75 is half of 1.5 again. So pressure at the centroid is equal to 51.294 kilopascals. Therefore, the force F is pressure at centroid times area of the gate, where the area of the gate is 1.2 times 1.5. 1.2 width, 1.5 height. So F is 92.33 kilonewtons. Next is we solve for E sub V which is height of rectangle 1.5 square, height of rectangle square over 12 bar h. But we don't have bar h. Bar h is computed from pressure at centroid equals specific weight of liquid in contact with the gate, which is water times bar h. Of course, so 51 pressure at centroid is gamma of liquid in contact with the gate times bar h. So 51.294 equals 9.81 times bar h. So bar H is 5.229 meters. It's not seen there because we have complicated layers of liquid and we have pressure here. So 5.229 is, is the distance from centroid to the imaginary water surface exposed to the zero pressure or atmosphere. That is, you convert 20 into water, kilopascals, you convert oil into water, and that's so that everything will be water here and the water surface is exp exposed to the atmosphere. So we can now solve for E sub V, height of rectangle 1.5 square over 12 bar H 5.229. So E sub V is 0 0.03586 meter. Substitute above, we can now solve for FW. So F sub W times 1.5 equals 92.33 times quantity 0.75 minus 0 0.03586. So FW is equal to 43.96 kilonewtons. I like this solution because I don't need to draw pressure diagram anymore. But if you don't like, I'll give you another solution. Let's compute for, let's use the pressure diagram. Let's compute for the pressure at the top of the gate and the bottom of the gate, similar to problem example 26. So pressure at the top is 20 plus 0.8 times 9.81 times 1.8 plus 9.81 times 1 only because we are computing pressure at the top of the gate. So pressure at the top of the gate is 43.936 kilopascals, while the pressure at the bottom of the gate is pressure at the top 
plus 9.81 times 1.5. Pressure at the top plus 9.81 times 1.5. So pressure at the bottom is equal to 58.651 kilopascal. So what is important is the increase in pressure is 9.81 times 1.5. So that if we draw the gate and the pressure diagram, so if we, FW, we still do not show the reactions at the hinge. So we have 43.936 kilopascals, rectangular pressure diagram. And we have F2. The value here is 14.715. 43.936 plus 14.715 is 9.81 times 1.5. So that the pressure, total pressure at the bottom is 58.651. So we divide the diagram into rectangle and triangle. So for the rectangle pressure diagram, the distance or moment arm of F1 from the bottom is 0.75, half of 1.5. While the distance of F2 represented by this triangular pressure diagram is one third of 1.5. So that's why this is 0.5. F1 is volume of pressure diagram, area of rectangle times width perpendicular to the board 1.2. So FW, uh, by the way, the equation, if you sum up moments about B, F, FW times 1.5 equals F1 times 0.75 plus F2 times 0.5. So that's our working equation for FW. So F1 is 43.936 times 1.5 times 1.2 perpendicular to the board. Volume of pressure diagram. So 79.085 kilonewtons. F2 is area of triangle times 1.2 to make it volume. Area of triangle is one half or 0.5 of 14.715 times 1.5 times 1.2 perpendicular to the board. So F2 is 13.244 kilonewtons. And finally, substitute here. FW times 1.5 equals 79.085 times 0 0.75 plus 13.244 times 0 0.5. Of course, expect the same answer. So FW is 43.96 kilonewtons.